All right, everyone, this is the moment that our channel, this great community we call Kendopolis, will finally join in the fight. We must widen the sub gap between T Series and our brother, PewDiePie. Ladies and gentlemen, notebooks ready. Take aim and give them everything you got. Spawn them. Let's go. Give them everything. We cannot stop until the everyday YouTuber, the homegrown creators, are on top. Hello again, YouTube. Yes, there is Dr. Kendo with the almighty PewDiePie. Yes, that's right. Those headphones don't have a cord coming out. You're actually going to find out why. As we are now prepared to do what we have long prepared for. It is, it's long overdue, really. We're going to go ahead and start off with a gamer here in Scribblenauts as the source object, ladies and gentlemen. So, the gamer, of course, you want the male gamer. I guess if you had the female one, it's not going to make too big of a difference. Just uh, based on what they look like and everything in this game. Defendant. We'll go with the male defendant back leg right there. I picked this just because when we're making like realistic I guess humans and whatnot they, they often will not have as much of the scribble knots usual proportions which oftentimes a lot of the scribble knots humans and humanoids they have uh, big fat legs kind of big heads they're all like really short kind of chibi looking I guess but anyway we got mocks coming up right here after we just put down the shoes over those uh, defendant legs so you want the mocks front arm and the back arm that's uh, one of Maxwell's many brothers in this game Maxwell of course being the main character and scribble knots. You guys know that if you're familiar with this series. We got a troglodyte, the male back arm piece. That'll be for the neck. Notice that we're naming this creation PewDiePie. It's already basically done just for the body object. We are going to be creating the head and the body separately as we do whenever we need to basically have more stamp space in this game because yes, scribble knots unlimited. It's actually very limited in the fact that it only limits you to a certain amount of stamp space. Okay, we are in the properties editor right here where you can edit health and other things about your character. I like to read background information and fun facts when we get here, but listen, you guys know who PewDiePie is. His real name is Felix, he's a Swedish YouTuber, and he's locked in the fight that should be all of ours to win. T-Series is our opponent, a conglomerate located in India, the entity that represents the corporation side of YouTube that many homegrown creators like PewDiePie and myself feel is now taking over the platform in recent years especially. You've got to subscribe to PewDiePie, but, you know, let's face it, probably all of you who are watching this right now are already subscribed to him. My channel says 199,600 plus subscribers at the time of this recording, but like only 1,000 of those are actually watching this stuff these days. It's really sad. So out of all 1,000 of you, if you somehow don't know who PewDiePie is, please look him up, subscribe to him, and just realize he's not literally family-friendly, even though there's family-friendly Felix, but still, do it anyway. Notice, of course, we gave some crazy stuff stats here to uh, PewDiePie or Felix and Scribblenauts Unlimited. When he loses or gains health, you know, he's going to become brave so he won't run away from the fights. We need our fearless leader not to run away. Uh, but he's also going to spawn a protective black pug. It's supposed to be Edgar. Am I right, folks? Am I right? I wonder what Pewds would think of this if he was actually seeing this video, which is probably a complete pipe dream. I don't think he would ever see it, but hopefully some of his people can. And we got a comb over right now. We are creating the head separately, as I mentioned. That's to uh, basically have the loophole of going around that stamp limitation. So, as I mentioned very, very early on, we're gonna make the headset. You know, it's like, uh, oftentimes when we see PewDiePie in his videos, he's got this big, you know, the big headphones. Now, the thing is, since we're creating the head and the body separately, it's like, really, I don't really want a cord, basically, coming out of those headphones, like most headphones should have, unless they're, of course, wireless. But what I'm saying is that his headphones should have, like, a cord, but again, it's like we would just be creating it attached to the head object, which we don't have enough stamp space for, for one, but also so it would just go off to like nothing. But I still want this to be his image here in Scribble Knots as we create him. I know what everybody's probably thinking. At least if you've been here for a very long time, you're like, wait, Dr. Kendo said that he would not create YouTubers. That was a long time ago, ladies and gentlemen. Things have changed. I said I wouldn't do a lot of things. You have to adapt to what people want and basically what YouTube demands and all that stuff. I'm fine with it. It's just, we, I, I would rather create people. This was my whole basis for it was one, you know, you know, nobody plugged me, nobody like asked people to subscribe to me or anything like that, but PewDiePie is like way up there. It's not like he's looking for my shout out or anybody. 
things. But then it's like also if it was just free range, like where's the limits? Everybody would just be like, create me, which they already do. Like all of you like random YouTubers who probably don't even watch me anymore are like, hey, create me. I guess you want some sort of publicity or something. I don't know. Or you just want to be created. We used to have a Patreon tier for that. Nobody joined it. So I got rid of Patreon, of course. Here, we're basically done. We put confetti down there. I wanted to give Felix some facial hair. I mean, my God. I always think that PewDiePie's hair, his facial hair, all that stuff is amazing. He's a good looking guy to me. I, uh, okay. This probably sounds kind of awkward or uncomfortable. Listen, you guys, you know that I'm married to my wife, Mrs. Kendo, but I'm really secure. I don't mind saying that PewDiePie's, he's a good looking dude. And so I'm hoping that we made him, at least uh, did him some justice here in Scribble Knots Unlimited. We scripted that head object to be worn on the face like glasses. I didn't want to make his nose too big, but he's actually mentioned one time himself that he's part of like the big nose brigade or whatever he called it, basically implying that he had a big nose. So we did make his nose a little bit bigger right there. Now, of course, our PewDiePie on screen right here against the T-Series logo. You saw him sit on that chair. Yes, his behavior is to use chairs. So look at that. But can you do this? Well, that's right. Gonna be using the chairs just like that. And so let's see. Uh, well, you know, you know what's left right here. We gotta have me representing Kendopolis, all of you, and the nine-year-old army. Honestly, I mean, we probably have a nine-year-old army in Kendopolis as well, right? There's probably even some ten-year-olds here too. So it's the nine-year-old armies of both the bro army and my community of Kendopolis joining forces. He spawns a black pug. I spawn a little uh, black, it's a golden retriever, but it's supposed to be actually my dog Apple, who is a, a black labradoodle. And so of course, when you type in black in Scribble Knots Unlimited and try to apply it to these as an adjective, you can see that those kind of look more gray than actually black. It's just something we have to like put up with, unfortunately. But look at this. Let's all take down T-Series. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, this is what should really happen. Actually, Edgar should not die or anything like that, of course. But this is what should be happening here these days on YouTube. We have to prevail. We have to persevere, push forward. I'm saying a bunch of P words, but this is for PewDiePie. If we can kind of just have like a more serious moment here, not that any of this wasn't serious or whatever, but just a heartfelt moment. I've kind of always, uh, you know, I realize that PewDiePie has been involved in controversies, just <laughs> numerous of them, but a lot of that is, uh, of course, how stories in the media are reported. There are certainly some actual bad things that he's done. He's apologized for them. I think that PewDiePie is actually incredibly down to earth, and I think he deserves every single last one of the subscribers that he has. At the time of this recording, it's like, what, very close to 90 million? I mean, that's insane. Like, that's just an amazing, amazing feat. So my hat is definitely off to PewDiePie. I just wanted to tell everybody also that YouTube is crazy. Um, I've been doing this for like six years. I've never seen something like what's been happening to my channel lately. Uh, it's not been good. Some of you guys know this. I've talked about this a little bit if you've been watching for a while now just in the last, I don't know, since August. I'm going to Washington, D.C. They invited me up to the YouTube pop-up space, so I will be there coming up later on in the week. And so I don't know what's going to happen to the upload schedule for this Sunday coming up after this. We do normally upload every single Sunday, but this time uh, I'm either going to like take a week off or I'm just going to upload something very easy, quick. Get this, I have not skipped a Sunday upload in, well, almost forever. Like 2015, I think, was the last time that I actually didn't do one on a Sunday. Maybe a discussion video of some kind, I don't know. Just be looking out for that, it'll be a little bit different. Or, if you're on the Discord, you'll get the announcement beforehand of what we're doing. And so, I'm gonna end it off like this. I'm gonna say I'll catch you on the next vid. And subscribe to PewDiePie. And down the road up with